you want to tell my period story? He's like, ew, mom, no. <laughs> I don't know why this is hard. So I'm going to try and share this without too much detail and in a short time frame. So from the beginning, I got my period when I was probably 13 and it was a little regular. I know that's kind of normal when you first get your period and then it disappeared. But that was due to the fact that I was going to get diagnosed with diabetes shortly after. And when I got diagnosed, I was just really underweight. That's really common for a lot of diabetics. And that was my case. So after getting diagnosed with diabetes and putting on some weight, I got my cycle back. And it was always still pretty irregular. I was eating whatever I wanted. Very processed food, standard American diet. Um, even though maybe I didn't eat fast food that much, I wasn't really eating well at all. <laughs> so either way, just wanted to make that clear. Then because my periods were kind of irregular, a common thought was just to go on birth control. It's what a lot of people recommended. I didn't really know any different because that's what everyone did. So I went on birth control, I think when I was 18, and I was on it for seven months. And I went on the lowest hormone dosage that was available. And I didn't know, but when you're on um, birth control, you're not really having a cycle. Even though you may see a period, that's not really what's happening. It is a forced bleed, so your body's not really producing anything. It is only due to the fact that the pill is causing this to happen. Oh, not even seeing the forced bleed made me concerned, so I was, I you know, made an appointment to go back to the OBGYN. I told her that I just didn't, I don't know, something intuitively in me was like, this is not right. At this time as well, I started learning a little bit more about food and nutrition and just like, starting to enter the health world a little bit and I just had a feeling I shouldn't be on it so I went off and she said my period would return within three to three three weeks to three months never returned <laughs> I had gone back to the OBGYN and tried a heavy dose of progesterone and at the same time they like took a bunch of blood to see maybe if like hormones were weird and the progesterone did nothing and I also never got a phone call that maybe my blood work was weird. So just kept going, hoping that it would eventually show up. And then some more time passed by. I saw just a general practitioner kind of getting a checkup. I had mentioned, oh, I haven't had a period in like, mm, I don't know, eight months. And is that not weird? They told me so confidently it is not a big deal to not have a period they said do not worry about it it doesn't matter you don't need one they just tried to reassure me don't worry about it and i kind of took that and was like well okay i'm just not gonna worry about it over the next six months i started developing some weird symptoms that I didn't really know what they meant, but I did start losing um, some weight and I was cold all the time. I then started having a lot of hair fall out. I was also extremely stressed for any like friends and family who were watching this. There was just so much going on in my life. I just had a lot going on and I was doing a lot of college school work I was in like so many classes at one time so there was just so much going on all of these symptoms and then everything else going on in my life I think probably didn't help my situation at all but it had been a year and a half and I still hadn't had a period so I went back to an OBGYN they looked at my records because I had just gotten blood work done so we were going over that and then they even looked at when I had come in a year and a half ago and they realized that they forgot to call me when I had that first set of blood work done with them because my hormones were depleted back then and now they were even worse. That was a relief to just know that that's why I was having premenopause symptoms, like all these things was because my hormones were so out of whack. They put me on hormone replacement therapy 
which is just like a cream that you take and they also just wanted to put me on birth control and I was like no that's what started all of this mess in the first place so absolutely not um they then I had to get like crazy scans for my pituitary gland because they thought maybe there's like a tumor and that's why I wasn't having a period or like things weren't working and it was just a mess but the hormone replacement therapy helped immensely my body weight came right back up like normal during this time started seeing a functional medicine doctor if you want to know what that is you can look into it it is not a holistic doctor they are actual doctors so anyway um, I started seeing a functional medicine doctor and that really helped so much and guided me in taking like proper supplements to help support my adrenals and everything. During that time, I still didn't get my period back. After all of that hormone replacement therapy, I had taken progesterone like three times, like really big doses, which is really common to try and like kickstart your period and nothing was working. Now to go to the key of it all, I mentioned that way back when I did not have a very good diet. But over the next course of the next like three years, I really started learning about like eating a whole foods diet, you know, not eating processed food. You know, wasn't even really, I mean, I'd still eat dairy on occasion, but I started going towards more of a low carb diet because of my type one diabetes. My endocrinologist recommended it. Most people said that was a good idea or it made sense. So that's what I was doing. I was eating pretty low carb. I was not keto by any means, but definitely on the lower carbohydrate of things. Very rarely grains. Um, if I did, I ate them in like small quantities. And I also never really ate a lot of like potatoes, you know, just starchy things and very little fruit. I always do like lots of berries. <laughs> oh, this dog. <gasps> um, can you just go lay down? So anyway, just doing like lots of berries and never really ate fruit. And I did not understand why my period wasn't coming back because I was taking all the supplements. I was eating all this like grass fed meat and healthy fats and lots of leafy greens, but yet never getting a period or any symptoms of a period, nothing. Um, also, I wasn't really working out. I was really trying to stay relaxed and not stress out. Um, a lot of things did calm down in my life. Like I got married and we moved and I was just away from everything in my life that kept me busy. <laughs> so for once in the longest time, I was pretty lonely and had a lot of solitude and time to learn. Then last year I went, I went plant-based and I did this for my type one diabetes. My diabetes got so much better, which I can talk about in another video, but I came across this girl's video who said that she had used medical mediums information to get her period back. And I had not had my period now for six and a half years and I thought maybe this would work for me. I would already, I was already doing plant-based. I was slowly introducing more fruits and I started incorporating some medical medium protocols into my lifestyle. So I do drink celery juice on occasion. I just really started upping my fruit intake like by a lot, you know, now eating anywhere from like two to three bananas a day, whole papayas, just, I mean, four apples a day, lots and lots of fruit, dates, all those things. I don't know, I had been plant-based for nine months and doing medical medium, more of medical medium stuff added to that for about six months. Let me see my voice. I got my period for the first time in seven years and I did not have any symptoms. It just came and I've ha it's been regular since then. It comes the same time, maybe like three days off or something, but it's the same, they're normal length, they're not painful, um, and I just still cannot believe that it's back and I am healed. Like, it just blows my mind. I'm also not on hormone replacement therapy anymore. Um, I still am on a few supplements that support my hormones, but I just feel like 
if you want to talk about supplements, you should probably talk about it with your doctor or something. So I don't really want to recommend anything. So I found my period back thanks to healing fruits and starchy things, lots and lots of carbs. I do want to mention, I know my carbohydrate intake because I'm a type 1 diabetic, so I have to count my carbs. But before, I was probably eating around, I don't know, maybe like 40 to 70 carbs a day. Now, I'm eating probably 220 to 300 carbs a day which is just wonderful because I love carbs so much. And I don't want to classify this to sound diet culture or anything, but I am on a, what is considered whole foods plant. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know the name for it. It's a low fat whole foods plant-based diet. So it means I'm not eating like processed vegan food. Um, and then on my plate, the fat portion is just obviously lower because the majority of my plate is filled up with like, you know, starchy vegetables or whole grains. I do eat grains still, um, not as much as I eat potatoes and stuff, but I still like to incorporate them. I eat a lot of beans and lentils and a lot of fruit. So with all of that, well, and feel so blessed. I also think it's really important to mention before I finish this video that over the last year of my healing journey, like within 2019 from going plant-based to getting my period, all that, I had done a lot of internal work and just spent a lot of time in my devotions and with God and realizing there were certain things that I needed to heal on my own. And I also reached out to a lot of family and friends for prayer and I attest so much of my healing to that as well and learning how to be at peace with a slower lifestyle and also just the fact that fruit and your thoughts have so much healing power and just know that you can heal. I know that when I was going through this there was nobody around me who had gone as long as I had without a period that didn't involve birth control because most people you know aren't having a period because they've been on birth control and that was not my case I just wasn't having one so you know and no no doctor knew why anyway um I hope this helps or encourages you or inspires you that if you were like me you can heal there are so many different ways to heal and just maybe if you haven't considered some prayer or if you've maybe cut out fruit maybe try bringing that back into your lifestyle if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment or send me a personal message or email anything you can find me on instagram at i am charlotte faith or you can check out my blog fashionfaithfood.com and i would love to just be your friend and hopefully guide you to maybe some more detailed answers i will see you in the next video wherever that topic takes us and I hope that you're having a really great day. Bye. Stooling, stooling. Look, what are you what are you eating? What are you eating? Say bye bye.